Well, it's been almost a year since I've done a tutorial. And been quite a busy year for me and got married. Got the whole family thing going on now. And uh, just realized it's been that long since I've done one. So, and a lot of people have been asking me about when the part two for WordPress is going to come out. So, I'm going to try to do that today. Um, I'm going to try to pick up where I left off and see if I can't get everything covered. So, I have all the code left up from where we left off last time. And, uh, nothing's changed, the exact same code. Um, one thing that's different is my memory and where I left off. So anyways, so uh, we got the pretty much the basis for creating a WordPress theme down. So what I want to do today is go over what I may have missed, uh, kind of highlight what I did do, and try to uh, improve on what, uh, what we can do and uh, what else needs to be done. So here is our code for couple things open there. Here's our code that we left off from last time. There's the index, um, the header, the footer, and the functions. Um, first thing I'm going to start with is the menu. I covered that last time. WordPress has a new function for that called WP Nav Menu. The only difference is, is what if you have multiple menus, two or three, and you want to use the menu editor, um, like shown here, that WordPress offers after version 3.0. So say you want to have multiple menus and control all from right here or have your users control it from right here, um, you need to do something different than the function that we just used. It is the same function but you need to pass in variables. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that back up and I'm just going to copy and paste some stuff in here. So what I've done is we're still using WP nav menu as you can see right here. The only difference is you can see there's um, a couple of things I'm passing through that function. Um, as you can see here it says array, theme location, and main menu. Alright, I haven't done this yet, but this is where we're going to define in the functions PHP just like we did with the sidebar. So we need to declare all the menus that we're going to use in the functions. So we'll go over here to the functions PHP and then you, there you can see our sidebars, but now we need to register our menus since we're going to be using more than one. So what I'm going to do again is just paste this in here. And here you can see the function to register a menu or multiple menus. So right here it says register nav menus, which is the WordPress function to do it. Then we have our array. Um, then right under that is what we're going to refer to it in our code. So what, whenever I refer to this particular menu in the code is going to be main underscore menu. Then after that, I have passed in what I want the users to see it as, what it's actually going to be called, and that's just main menu right there. Then what I also want to do is I want to have a footer menu. So again, all I've done is put footer menu right there, and that's what I want to, then this is what I want the users to see. It's cleaned up and looks better than footer underscore menu. But this is exactly what we're going to use in the code. So, oops. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and, go ahead and save that. Um, so, very simple. Register nav menus. Pass in which menus you want to save, how many menus you want, and then save it. So then over here in the header, you can see I've referred to the main menu with the main underscore menu. And I put theme location. And that's where I'm going to leave it as. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. So let's pull back up our page and we'll refresh it. Now you see not much has changed. It's still right there. So what if we wanted to use categories or something else right there? So what I would do is, so let's come over here to where we uh, organize our menus in the admin. Go, uh, we'll call this one just main. And we'll create a menu. So we have our menu called main. And I'm going to add things from here just like you can with any WordPress. And over here I want to show you this. this is where it says theme locations. Right here where I put theme location. And you see how that's kind of coming together. And right here is where we uh, declared our menu menus in the function. Functions.php. So we have our menu menu right here. And our footer menu right here. 
then right there you can see where I created that main menu over here so if I just wanted to add something over there instead of having the sample page and I just wanted to use the categories I hit add to menu and right there you can see it says uncategorized so I'm going to hit save menu if I'll hurry up and load there we go and then I'm going to come over here and hit refresh and the reason that wasn't working yet was you can still see it says sample page because over here where it says main menu I need to click the drop down and hit main so that's the menu that I want to use in the main menu so I'll hit save and we'll come over here and hit refresh and there you can see uncategorized that's the category of our post that I wanted to use in that particular menu so no matter how many categories you have that will appear up there or whatever you select over here in your menus that you want that to be a part of so you notice I also had a footer menu in there um, let's go ahead and add that in in the code um, save time here I'm going to copy and paste this and we will put this above the footer function uh, let's say right here and instead of main menu that's going to be footer menu we'll go ahead and save that and then we'll come back up here then I'm going to add a new menu so I'm just going to click the little plus button right here so then we'll call this one footer and we'll hit create menu so there we've created our footer menu so what I like to do is I would like to put my categories in the footer menu and my actual pages in the main menu so what I'll do is I'll add the uncategorized to the footer menu which is the categories as you can see right here and that's and there it is and I'm going to hit save menu then I'm going to go back and edit the main menu so the pages are back there back in that particular menu that's loaded so let's go over to main menu and what I want to do is remove it and then I want to add this sample page back to it because it's the only page we have thus far because I haven't created any and there's the sample page and then we'll go ahead and hit save menu again so over here then in the main menu I want the main and over here in the footer menu I want the footer and another thing you can do with the uh, menus function in WordPress is create custom links to go to either external websites or say you want to create a home link that goes to your home page or any link that you want in particular and you can add that to your menu so let's go over here let's hit refresh and then you see the sample page is back up on top and there's our footer menu um, it's up that high because I haven't put a style on it but that is where our footer menu is at and as a matter of fact I should probably put a style on that so let's go do that real quick so what I'll do is I'll go div ID since we're only using it once um, footer menu go ahead and close that save it we'll go over to our style sheet and then we'll put in our styles for it go 
go with 100 percent and then height 50 pixels go ahead and save that and come up here and hit refresh it's still up there but that's fine for now I need to hurry up here um, what you can do is you can style that to drop that back down all the way to the bottom but our page content is so short that it's going to be all the way up there so that's how you add multiple menus in WordPress um, it's mainly all add your functions PHP then referring to those menus and calling them back um, another thing I didn't cover last time was we went over how to insert posts and comments but what I didn't show you was how to uh, make the comments page or comments section up here so I want to do that really quick so we'll go over to our index PHP and in here you can see how we have our comments number um, if there's no comment no comment one comment or how many comments there might be but what we need to do is add the comments box so somebody can actually leave a comment so um, all all we need to do for that is drop in a quick WordPress function and that and that's how you add comments so what I'm going to do is paste this in here and this is how you drop in the comments template for people to be able to leave a comment on the post so all it is is comments underscore template with the uh, parentheses around the each end of it or the parentheses on it so it's a function so I'll go ahead and save that then let's go back up here and hit refresh we are on our home page and it shouldn't appear right here should not in which case it didn't the only place that should appear is if you click on the post and you're actually on the post page and as you can see you have the box to where you can submit a comment and I'm already logged in because I'm in the back end and I can just leave a comment leaving a comment and then what we'll do is we'll hit submit comment and there you go right there it says leaving a comment and you know my username on here is tutorials and it shows the time and the date of when I left it and then you can style this too um, I can go over how to do that another time because there was a couple more things I wanted to cover today so that's how you make the comments box up here so people can actually leave a comment I left that out last time I apologize about that um, one more thing I want or a couple more things I wanted to cover what if you wanted to add a search bar anywhere aside from the sidebar that's not a widget so say I wanted to put one in the menu so what I would do if I just wanted to add a search bar just say at the end of the menu is that's just a simple WordPress function in itself and all you would do and I'm just gonna paste this in here real quick and I'm actually gonna make it oh, I'm just gonna drop it out here just for time's sake uh, and what it is is get search form with a parentheses so that's how you would drop in a search bar in WordPress using WordPress functions so we'll go ahead and pull that up and let's go back up to the top um, over here yeah, I'm used to using Chrome so we we'll refresh this then up here at the top you can see the search bar and it says search for um, there's a way to edit that if you have any questions on that just send me a message on my website um, so say we want to search for a post so let's say I want to search for a sample and there shows up sample page because the word samples in there or hello oh spelled it wrong hello and obviously it says no posts were found because I spelled it wrong so I put in hello and it should bring up our hello world post um, that's the quick way of dropping in a search form or search bar anywhere in WordPress is just the simple function on get search form and that's the function alright one more thing I want to show you real quick is how to add how to add thumbnails into your pages or posts okay say somebody adds a picture in a page or a post and you need that to appear I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick so to make thumbnails appear um, in pages if people add them or your posts if people add them 
is just a simple quick function again uh, nothing too complicated is right here where the contents at is what I would do above it and then I would style this of course and I'm just gonna drop this in there it's if has post thumbnail then display the post thumbnail then you close it so that's all that is so you go if uh, the post has a thumbnail then display the thumbnail if it doesn't it won't do anything then of course what I would normally do is uh, style this so I would have it lined up with the post or the page correctly and how you wanted it um, but that would be how you would make a thumbnail appear on a post or a page um, all right, I'm running out of time here but anyways um, I covered a few things that uh, I wanted to get covered the next time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to make admin options in the back end so say you've seen a lot of themes that where um, each theme has their own options I'm gonna show you how to add that into the admin so if you're creating a custom theme and you want to say hey upload a logo or anything like that you'll be able to do it and I'll show you how to uh, put that into the admin and the correct functions for it and everything else like that um, a couple other things um, my website has changed because I was uh, I kinda fell asleep and I let somebody take my domain name out from under me so my new website is ryanmcon.com I had to put my middle initial in there because somebody took my domain from me because I wasn't paying attention and I let it expire so that's my new domain um, again if uh, tutorials helping you out uh, go ahead and subscribe to my blog it's just as easy as clicking in here and hitting subscribe it goes through feed burner um, and another thing if anybody's interested in um, I'm kinda short on time these days if you know a lot about developing or you just like developing um, I'm looking to expand my blog with help so if you're interested in helping out or contributing, um, go over to my contact page, drop me a message, and let me know that you're interested. And then uh, maybe we can get together. And uh, I'm trying to expand my blog and get new things going. So if uh, you know a language I haven't covered or something you want to cover about developing, go over to the contact page, drop me a message, and uh, you can be a contributor to my blog or my YouTube channel. Either way. Um. Anyways, I am completely out of time for today. So, um, next time I'm going to cover admin options for themes on WordPress. Um, this is part two. I know everybody's been asking me about it for a long time. It took me almost a year, but I finally got it. All right, you guys have a good day.